Well, here we are in chapter two. Got this uh, foreboding music playing. Oh, I can go into the bathroom now. Hmm, it's gone. She she really is gone. So what happened to her body, by the way? Who moved it out? It's almost like there was never anything there to begin with. And who cleaned all this shit? Apparently it wasn't me. Huh. Just like he said. Just like who said? After the class trial, before we took the elevator back up, Monokuma told us. Uh huh. Almost forgot since the class trial is over, I'll go ahead and dispose of all the corpses. <laughs> what Jesus. are you gonna do? It's okay, no need to thank me. Just seeing your delighted smiling faces is thanks enough for me. After all, nobody wants to look at a rotting corpse every day. That can't be good for your health. <laughs> Jesus. Didn't you have time to mourn Sayaka and Junko's deaths? Hmm. Sure, that's exactly why he did it. It's a bad joke, a sickening dream, but I have to accept the reality of it all. I headed back to the dining hall to meet up with the others. Hmm. Sorry I'm late. So, um... Listen to me! Hmm. 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 Is your room fixed up like you said? <laughs> yep. Imagine it would be pretty hard to sleep with a rotting corpse in your bedroom. What the fuck is wrong with this dude? Hey, come on! <laughs> Why would you say something like that? My room was spotless. There wasn't anything left. Like the whole thing never happened. I see. Must be tough staying there, knowing what happened. Why don't you just stay in Sayaka's room? Well, staying there with her scent still hanging in the air, that would hurt just as much. Plus, I decided that I can't turn away from her death. Hmm. Makoto. Um... Getting depressed isn't gonna help anything, right? Yeah, I'm sure it's just... just brush it off. Uh-huh. If we all work together, I'm sure we'll find a way out of here, uh-huh. You got it! She's so dead. She's gonna die next! <laughs> so everyone just... try and cheer up and get back on track. Hmm. Is that honestly supposed to make us feel better? Huh? This guy's this guy's right. We were already working together, and yet someone was still murdered. Anyone could betray us at this point. Now that it's happened once, it's a question of when, not if, the next one takes place. <laughs> yeah, because Sayaka made the first move. Well. What if we work together against the mastermind? Nobody'll have any reason to do something like that. Stop yeah. talking. Keep telling yourself that. I'll be over here in the real world. <laughs> Working together, fighting a common enemy. Like it or not, it's not that simple. Um, what do you mean? Are you okay with this? Mastermind seems to be much more powerful than we ever suspected. They took over Hope's Peak, which is supposed to be a well-defended, supposed to be well-defended, then modified it to fit their desire. They created Monokuma, which seems to be incredibly advanced, and they're providing for our every need. And the cherry on top is the execution we witnessed. Honestly. Everything has been planned down to the last excruciating detail. This is not the work of your everyday psychopath. Defying them may be too great a, of a risk. So then... And what are you? What are we supposed to do? Anyone who truly does want to escape will just have to follow the rules. <laughs> In which case, the only option is to deceive those around you and win the game. No. No. What? No what? I, I don't I want to live. I can't take it. If it means killing someone else to do it. Don't want to kill anyone else. Huh? Anyone else? What do you mean? It's because... Leon died because we all voted for him, right? It's no different than us killing him ourselves. But... Hmm. So, um... If we hadn't voted for him, then we all would have died instead, right? That isn't what you wanted, is it? So it would seem. If you keep that kind of blame on yourself, you'll turn into a full-fledged masochist. Chihiro, listen. You're not to blame. Not you, not Leon, and not Sayaka. The Mastermind is responsible for everything that's happened. We had no choice but to vote. Can't even imagine what would have happened to us if we'd refused. And in the end, it was Monokuma who ultimately killed Leon. So don't waste your anger on yourself. Instead, direct it at the mastermind. Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> this as such soon to yep. oh. Same shit. And oh. one other thing. Yeah. It was totally obvious before that you were trying to make yourself feel <laughs> better and justify what you did. See you, see you, don't see you, see you. That's about how much I can see you even when you try to hide. What? Now pay attention and remember this well. The burden of judging others is a heavy one to bear. 
So be well aware of your actions. Order and stability rely on the sacrifice and responsibility of everyone. Okay, then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Ugh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Don't fuck with me. And so the day drew to a close. A tense, maddening day that saw the deaths of three classmates. Sayaka, Junko, and Leon. But this is just the beginning. Yeah, from what I understand, this is actually a pretty fucking long game. It's like a 25-hour story. Like, just the story is fucking 25 hours. Ugh. Our despair is only just we got fucking... Okay, so now we're in chapter 2. This is music. Boy's Life of Despair. What was that bandage? Who? Was that, uh, what's his face? The, uh, clairvoyant guy? Anyway, uh, I woke up the next day to Monokuma's normal morning announcement, and he called us all to the gym. What's he gonna do to us this time? We were practically frozen with fear, but Monokuma was determined to get us involved in his little game. And with that goal in mind, he began it. Okay, lift your arms up and down. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now reach way up and bend way down. Tighten those muscles. Let's add a little strength, a little speed to those young bodies of yours. Doesn't this just feel... Doesn't this feel just great? Being stuck inside like this, you gotta make sure to stay healthy. You're the one keeping us stuck inside. <laughs> don't sweat the small stuff, that's my motto. Yeah wow, well, I sounded pretty cool just now, don't you think? Did you fall in love with me? Am I just to die for? Am I just to die in writhing agony for? Wow. So, so why did you call us here? Certainly it wasn't just to make us, make us <laughs> exercise. Just to make you exercise? Just to make you exercise! Hey! If exercise makes you laugh, exercise will make you cry. What? What? Now if you keep doing these exercises, you will uncover the secret of the Assassin's Fist. <laughs> Passed down from generation to generation in the Empire of Darkness. The power can be yours. Mm -hmm. That sounds like the kind of junk a middle schooler would come up with. It doesn't matter. Uh, just get to the point. Did you really call us down here just to exercise? Hey, hmm. um... Of course not. You think I have that kind of free time on my hands? Yeah, actually. Like to make an announcement, mm-hmm. Every time you overcome a class trial here at Hope's Peak, a whole new world will open up to you. Huh? A whole new world? What the heck? Aladdin style? You guys? It'd really suck if you had to live here forever with nothing new to stimulate you. Besides, I know how you kids get these days with your ADD and ADHD. <laughs> Gotta keep you motivated. Very nice. So go ahead, look around all you want, enjoy the brave new post-trial world till you explode. <laughs> Hmm. New world? Like a new part of the school? I wonder about that. That seems unlikely. Piece of shit! Don't know until we look, yep. But every man it seems like we'll have to search the school one more time. You hear me? Great. When you're done, everyone meet back up at the dining hall and we'll share what we found. Hmm. You're basically a one-trick pony, you know that? Got it! More like a staple food source. Now let's get going. Mm-hmm. Seeing his words as their, as their signal, everyone scattered and left the gym. Well then. Huh. Should keep an eye out for more tokens. Yeah. I just wanna... Want a token. Or coin or whatever. Guess it's all it's in here. Yeah. So I need to, uh... Huh. Where should I go? Here's this asshole. Map. Hmm. I guess I'll just go around and talk to everybody. I don't think this is free time, so. What the heck? Do you see what's inside the display case? Super bad. What? What are you talking about? Hmm. A bad, I'm awful terror trap. That stuff you say, Leon. That stuff you see lined up there. Any god could come by and use it to send a message. What? Uh -huh. I've been struck with knowledge. It's an ill omen of total devastation and ruin. Let me out of here! I have no idea what he's talking about. Fucking stupid case. Hmm. 
whatever. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll just go talk to everybody. I'll show you if I find anything. I guess. Phew. Well, there's this, actually. Hmm, staircase, huh? The gate that was blocking the stairs has been opened. Hmm. Alright. This is the second floor of the school. Maybe there's some kind of clue here. Mm hmm. Well, let's just have a look around, shall we? Huh. Boys' bathroom is the one with the black signal. Hmm. Huh? What? The cursor is right over it. Oh, I gotta move like that. Mm hmm. That's it, huh? Fucking Bobkus. Well, hmm. Gotta map this area. Sakura's up here. Boo. The library, huh? The library. Huh. These what? Since when did it say that all these people are in here? Oh, she's over there. There's an event in here. Should probably check here last, I guess. I'm gonna go look around. I'll come back here in a bit, I guess. I just want to get all the tokens or whatever. Well, I guess I can't leave. <laughs> well, fuck that then. All right then. Shit. What is this? A letter, huh? Indeed. Right under a thick layer of dust, it must have been sitting there for quite a while. Uh-huh. Shouldn't read other people's mail without their permission. Is that right? <laughs> what we shouldn't do is leave this here without finding out what's inside. Yeah. Broke the seal on the dusty envelope and pulled out the single sheet of paper I found inside. Uh-huh. Executive office. Throughout the years, we have been committed to shaping the youth who will one day shape the world. We have a long, proud history as an institution of higher learning with full governmental support. Our graduates enter society ready to take, an act take on active leadership roles in every major job field. However, Hope's Peak Academy must now lower the curtain on its glorious history for the time being. This decision was not an easy one to make, but serious issues beyond our control have made it necessary. But make no mistake, this is not the end for Hope's Peak Academy. We intend to reopen our doors as soon as the issues forcing our closure have been resolved. That being said, this is the end for now, and I would like to personally and sincerely thank everyone for your help and support over the years. For now, we are awaiting official governmental authorization to formally cease operations. What does this mean? Hmm. The contents of this letter are quite interesting indeed. Stopped functioning as a school. Judging by the amount of dust the letter had collected, it doesn't seem to have happened recently. I guess I'd say this letter could be at least a year old. So you're saying Hope's Peak closed down at least a year ago. Most likely the mastermind took over the abandoned school in order to put on this little performance. Either that or he was the one who uh, caused it to close down in the first place. That would mean it was closed when I got here just a few days ago. I didn't get that sense at all. Plus if the school had shut down, don't you think it would have been in all the newspapers and stuff? You're saying it could have happened over a year ago, right? But before I got here, I looked stuff up online about school and never saw anything about this. So, in other words... Yeah, they lured us all in here. Someone who could create a place to judge and execute people could potentially be capable of anything. Hmm. Of course, that's all assuming that this letter is real. However... If it is real, though, that does solve one mystery surrounding the school. The reason there are no other students here could be because the school had already closed down. Hmm. That would be a nice, simple solution. It, if true, maybe? Yeah, that's a grammar mistake there. Sorry, sorry, though. I forgive you, game. But then, what about this other part? This decision, yeah. Serious issues. Mm-hmm. 